Uh, hello everyone. Uh, in today's video, I want to build on what we did in uh, the last video, um, where we set up an Arch Linux um, QMU system and ran our own kernel inside of that Arch Linux QMU system. So in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to take that kernel that we built uh, ourselves and ran in the Arch Linux QMU image, and uh, we're going to do some editing on it. Um, and we're going to be looking at uh, LSMs, Linux security modules. And we're going to build a, a, a very small skeleton um, LSM that, uh, that we can use for, for further, uh, further development with LSMs. So let's get started here. Uh, a few things that I did differently from the last video is I've actually grabbed a different kernel. I grabbed the Linux security kernel, and I will show you how I got that. So first I went to kernel.org. Uh, I browsed on the mainline source code. I went into this maintainers file And then I did a search for Linux dash security. And the one that I care about is this security subsystem uh, kernel that's maintained by James Morris and Serge Holland or Halen. Um, and they say the way that you get that is to um, get clone from this area, but there's a few more instructions that you should follow. And those instructions are detailed on this website. So if we go to that website, and then click on kernel repository, uh, they give you the explicit command to get clone the, the Linux security kernel. Um, and they also tell you what to check out um, in order to, to do development on it. So this, um, so I, I've already followed these instructions here. And then, what I did is I ran a make uh, x86 64 def config, make KVM config. Um, then I just kind of checked out what, what was set um, in the menu config, but I didn't change anything. And then I made the kernel uh, with a BZ image. So we've got that kernel here. Um, and just to show you, it is running. And you'll notice here that we also have networking support. So we can go wget http google.com and we get the Google um, Google the Google page in this HTML form. All right, so we are going to shut this down because we're going to do some editing. So what we want to do is we want to build a, uh, a skeleton LSM. Um, now an LSM is uh, it's a security module that you build into the Linux kernel that can do things based on security hooks that the security developers have put into the kernel. And let's take a look at some of those hooks. So if we do a, if we open up the, actually let's, let's do a find for lsm underscore hooks dot h. And let's open up that file. So these are a set of hooks where you can kind of uh, write in some additional code to allow or disallow uh, certain things from happening in the kernel. Um, so because we're just gonna build a, a skeleton LSM, um, we're gonna focus on just building it in this video. And in the next video, I'll, I'll go into more detail about what these, these hooks do. Uh, for right now, what we care about is this check security uh, hook. 
So what we're gonna do is we're going to build an LSM that hooks into this check security hook um, and it's going to print out the name of an executable that is about to be run. So, um, I have actually pre-done this inside of a different kernel here. So I will copy that stuff in to the kernel that I'm working on. And I will describe what I did. So inside of the security area, I have built a my test um, LSM. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this over into the kernel that we're currently using, currently building. And let's take a look at the source code inside of it. So first things first, we have to look at the kconfig and the make file for this kernel. So as you can see, I only have a single... Um, now, by the way, I didn't make these. So we'll delete them right now. All I made are these three files. Uh, the my underscore test underscore uh, lsm.c file, a make file, and a kconfig. So the kconfig just says, uh, this, is, this is kind of how you can turn on your lsm. So you would, inside of your .config, you would put, uh, um, inside of the .config, we can turn our kconfig on by putting in config underscore the name of our um, config option and equals yes. So that will will turn it on to a yes. Um, so that will com that will enable the make file, and the make file simply says that make a my underscore uh, test object, and it's going to make this object from a my underscore test underscore lsm object, and it makes this from the source code from the C file. So there is one more thing that, uh, actually a few more things that we have to do. We have to tie this into the security subsystem as well. So inside of the security subsystem, let's open up that kconfig. And we're going to source our kconfig. Okay, and after we've done that, we're going to open up the make file in the security subsystem. And we are going to add our our stuff into into the uh, the make file for the security subsystem. So we do that once there to, to make the subdirectory and we do this to add the objects. Make sure we've got config in front. Uh, my underscore test and it's a directory. So now now when we do a make we should be including um, our LSM. So what does our LSM do? What LS our LSM does is it, it initializes our, uh, it initializes um, hooks that we define in this uh, my test hooks array. And we're only adding this uh, this single hook, this single function for the BPRM check security hook. So let's go back to the LSM hooks.h file. So what we're doing is we're adding a hook for this check security, um, this this check security hook list. Um, so let's let's do a. a 
uh, a menu config to make sure that we've got our make menu config. What's wrong here? Can't open the file my underscore test k config. Why not? Did we move the, uh... ah, okay. We have made a small mistake here. Make sure that we are copied in properly. All right, and let's take a look at the K config. Did we change the, the proper stuff in the K config? Yes, and in the make file. Yes, okay. Close this, go into my test, make sure that we've got what we want. Make sure that our make file and our kconfig are good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so as you can see, the my test is uh, being included. Um, now there is one last thing that you have to do. You have to add your the my test. Uh, um, Linux security module into the list of um, enabled LSMs. So we'll do that by adding my underscore test in here. And do we call it my underscore test? Yes, we did. So let's go back into the code and I want to point out what it's going to do. Um, the BPRM security check is run right before um, a process is being executed. So a user, a user land process is about to be executed. Um, it's going to run the hooks for the BPRM check security. And we have added our function, my underscore test, underscore BPRM, underscore check, underscore security function into that list of checks being run. And what we're doing there is we're gonna print out, hello, my test, uh, um, we're going to print out the name of the function and we're also going to print out the name of the executable that's about to be run. So what you might be asking is where did I get this information? I got this information from this site, uh, elixir.bootlin.com. And what I did is when you, when you open up elixirbootlin.com, it's going to take you to um, the latest source of the latest Linux kernel. Now, the thing is, the, uh, the Linux security subsystem kernel is actually running on a little bit older of a kernel. It's, it's running on 5.1 RC1. So I'll click that. So now, now um, this is a cross-referencer in which we can do some searches for identifiers in the Linux kernel. And I will explicitly show you what I mean by that. Um, so what we care about, let's look up what this, uh, this struct Linux underscore bin PRM is. So if we add that to the identifier to be searched for, press enter, um, it'll give us a list of where it's being used and where it's being defined. So this is a structure, um, and it's got a bunch of stuff in it. And one of those things is that it's got this interp interp um, string, char array. Um, and it says that it's the name of the binary really executed. Most of the time it's the same as the file name, but it could be different for a dim, different bin format. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna print that out every time uh, an executable is about to be run. We're gonna return a zero from this function saying that we're okay to move on. Um, if we put a one in here, we would say that there we, we find an error 
um, we find a security error here, please don't execute this program. But because we don't want to do that or else we wouldn't run anything because um, our LSM is really stupid right now. So let's give ourselves a compile here and see what happens. All right, and let's give it a run. So as you can see here, we're, we're getting our printed quite a lot because it's being run every time a user space binary is being executed. So let's do an ls and you'll see that user bin ls has been uh, printed out here. Um, if we do a ps, you'll see that user bin ps um, is being printed out here. Now this is a little bit interesting. This, this threw me off the first time I was doing an lsm. What if we do an echo of hello world? Hey, there's, there's, there's no prints here. That's because echo is part of the bash program, um, or at least the echo that is being used when you simply type echo is part of the bash program, and bash is already being run, as you can see here. So if I do a bin echo, hello world, that's when we get our printout. So uh, that's a really easy way to set up um, uh, a little um, skeleton LSM. And in the next video, I'll go into a little bit more detail about what the LSM is doing. Uh, thank you for watching.